evaluate this double integral in the region R. Okay, this given region, that's R. Okay, by the following transformation. This region is not that nice. At the same time, the integrand e raised to x plus y is not easy to integrate. Okay, so we make the following transformation. It's given here. So u is given by y minus x and v is given by x plus y. So let me write over here. So u is y minus x and v is x plus y, so which is the same as y plus x. Then this integrand immediately becomes slope. This e raised to x plus y is e raised to x plus y is v is given. So this part is good. Now we need to convert, change this region in the x y plane into u v plane with these change of variables. And if we look at closely here, this is 0, 0. This is 1, 1, 0, 2. Top and left, this corner is negative 1, 1. Now we have two options to convert uh, this region in the xy plane into uv plane. You, we can work with these, uh, these equations of lines. Okay, this is given in the question. Or we can use these four coordinates. Here is 0, 0. So let me show you both ways. But you can just use one of them, which one is easier for you. First, we can manipulate these equations and these transformations. So here, let me work with this y equals x this side y equals x is same as look at look at here we know y minus x is u so let's make that y minus x this implies if we subtract from both sides y minus x equals zero and that is in fact u equals zero okay so this is done Let's immediately work here, y equals x minus 2, it will be same. y equals x plus 2 is same as subtract x from both sides, y minus x equals 2. This implies this is u equals 2. Okay, now let's work on these lines. y equals negative x. This is same as move this over, we get y plus x because y plus x is v. So y plus x equals 0, that implies v equals 0. And finally, this line, okay, y equals 2 minus x, that is same as y plus x equals 2, implies uh, this is v equals 2. So when we draw these four lines in UV plane, we get a region. Okay, that's in UV plane. Or instead of this, what we, we could have done the following. Okay, just draw a, a table. So let me erase these and just leave these because that's what we need. Okay, we could have done just this table. We have points given in x, y plane. We are trying to convert into u, v plane. x, y here is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, and negative 1, 1. Using these two formulas, transformations or change of variables, we can find corresponding u, v. So x, y, 0, 0, plug in here, 0, plug in here, 0, 1, 1. So this is 1 minus 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, okay, 2 minus 0, 
x2 0 to 2 negative 1 1 okay 1 minus negative 1 2 and here is neg uh, 1 negative 1 plus 1 0 so we have this so l let me draw these two regions and we are supposed to get the same okay So in the UV UV plane, see. So if we go by these equations, this is U axis, V axis. U axis means V zero. V axis means U zero. U equals zero. That's this here. U equals two, one, two. This is u equals 2, v equals 0, okay, that's the u axis, and v equals 2, 1, 2. So we have this uh, square, rectangle, in fact, is square, okay, and this is 2. And if we go by this, we should get the same thing, let's see, okay, we would write 0, 0, which is here, 0, 2, that would be here, 2, 2, here is 2, 2, 2, 0. And when we join, we get a rectangle. In fact, in this case, a square. So we have new region here. Okay. Let's say this is D. Uh, the scalings are different, so it looks smaller. We don't know. It can be bigger than this. Okay. Next, uh, we want to find the Jacobian that compares the areas of this with new region so what we want to do here is we are trying to convert x y x y into u v okay let's find this jacobian which is okay if we go up uh, we are given u equals v equals so if we write in this way then we need to solve these two equations for x and y but instead of finding this what we can do is we can find the reciprocal let's find the reciprocals because u equals v equals given in the question let's find d u v del u v over del x y in fact we needed the reciprocal of this and we'll do that this is same as parcel of u with respect to x y with respect to vx, vy, ux, look at here, u with respect to x, negative 1, u with respect to y1, v with respect to x, 1, 1, so negative 1, minus 1, negative 2, okay, negative 2, that means what we needed here is del xy because we are converting xy into uv this will be reciprocal of this negative one half and when we convert that double integral we take absolute value all that means the original the old area is half of new area okay so we have all the ingredients now The given integral that was in this R, let me go up and see. So we already figured out e to the v for this. dA e x plus y dA. This is now new region. We said d or any other name. e raised to v. That's given in the question, and we need to multiply by the Jacobian, which is one half absolute value of Jacobian which is one half area of this new region uh, one half can be pulled all the way outside one half now this is a rectangle so we don't have to worry about type 1 or type 2 we can write just uh, e to the v du dv or dv du doesn't matter but you need to match v is going from where v that's the vertical so 0 to 2 and u horizontal also 0 to 2 ok 
okay let's evaluate this it should be easy now one half b equals zero to two antiderivative of e v with respect to u oh we should have done dv first okay doesn't matter antiderivative of e raised to v du this is constant so e v is just e v so one du is just u now we don't have to worry about this u from zero to two dv one half this is now v from zero to two upper limit minus lower limit two minus zero two e v dv now we can pull two outside two times one half is one don't have to write antiderivative of ev is just ev and we go from zero to two plug in upper limit lower limit e raised to e square minus e raised to zero which is one so the final answer is e square minus one